Hey everyone, Leslie here. Did you know that gray hair can be an indicator of your internal health and that in some cases it's even reversible? Today we're going to be talking about the link between your hair and some other markers of health, in this case your vitamin D levels and their link to memory, cognition, and even Alzheimer's disease. All to help you on your journey to your new prime of life. Now you might have heard that vitamin D is essential for bone and immune health. And if you've watched my other videos, you've also learned that vitamin D deficiency can lead to rickets of bone disease, as well as hair loss and premature gray hair. Those three are linked. But did you know that it might also help in keeping our brains healthy as we age? Recently, a study explored how vitamin D supplementation could affect the incidence of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, and that ranks as being one of the diseases people fear most in old age. So let's take a look at the study. Researchers examined over 12,000 dementia-free individuals, and they found that those who took vitamin D supplements had a 40% lower risk of developing dementia compared to those who didn't. That's pretty impressive, right? Especially when you consider the growing number of people affected by dementia worldwide, especially women who suffer dementia and Alzheimer's at twice the rate of men. But what exactly is vitamin D doing in our brains? Well, it turns out that vitamin D helps clear amyloid beta aggregates, and those are the sticky plaques found in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. It also offers neuroprotection against harmful processes that lead to brain cell damage. Now, you might be wondering how much vitamin D should we be getting? The recommended reference ranges for vitamin D levels can vary based on age and health conditions. Generally, for adults, a blood level of 20 to 50 nanograms per milliliter, or NG over ML, is considered adequate. For those over 70, slightly higher levels might be beneficial, around 30 to 50. But American neurologist Dr. David Perlmutter, author of the New York Times bestseller Grain Brain, who regularly works with Alzheimer's patients, recommends levels between 70 to 90, which he says is the optimal as opposed to normal range. Perlmutter says that optimal is what you want when looking at brain health as we age and that vitamin D positively influences over 900 genes as well as reducing inflammation and cancer risk as well. The takeaway is that vitamin D is vitally important, but that opinions on the optimal levels of vitamin D vary. So always check with your healthcare provider to find the best range for you. The good news is that you can raise your levels of vitamin D relatively quickly with supplementation. If you're low, you might find that your doctor puts you on 5,000 IUs or international units for a couple of weeks, followed by a daily dose of 1,000 to 2,000 IUs. And that's because vitamin D is stored in your fat. And unlike vitamin C, which is a water-soluble vitamin that gets flushed out daily, vitamin D doesn't get excreted daily. Now you can source vitamin D from sunlight, we make it in our skin, you can get it from food and supplements. Food sources include grass-fed butter, cheese, and ghee. And the benefit of grass-fed cheese is that it also gives you the extra bonus of having spermidine, a key anti-aging molecule in there too. Now sun exposure is a great way to boost your vitamin D. And the best way I've found to do this is to use a completely free app called D-Minder. That's been developed by medical doctors and tells you what time of day you should go outside to get sun exposure and for how long to meet your daily needs. This is especially important for those of us whose ancestors came from sunnier climes and whose skin tones, like mine, require a much higher spectrum of sunlight in order to manufacture vitamin D in our skin. As a matter of fact, up in Scotland, the South Asian population is especially prone to rickets due to the lack of sun exposure so much higher north. And rickets, as I mentioned earlier, leads to hair loss as well as loss of hair color. So if you have darker skin tone, please take extra note. But sun exposure isn't always possible, especially in the winter months like here in the UK. And as a matter of fact, when I tried D-Minder in January, it told me that my next opportunity to get vitamin D from sunlight was going to be in May. 
that's where supplements come in handy. When looking for a good supplement, like this one from Nutri, look for one that carries it in fat. This is because it enhances the absorption of vitamin D in your gut. In addition, I personally always look for one that comes together with a small amount of vitamin K. Now that is a vitamin that helps with coagulation of the blood and it works together with vitamin D to drive calcium away from the arteries and to the bones. So it's good for heart health. Now, of course, if you're on blood thinners like warfarin or aspirin, you skip the vitamin K as your body likely already has enough. As with anything, moderation is key. While vitamin D supplements are generally safe, too much can lead to side effects like nausea, weakness, and even kidney problems. So it's important not to overdo it. Remember, we're looking for the Goldilocks zone, not too little, not too much. And the way to determine that is through regular testing. You can get your doctor to order you a kit, or you can even do at-home testing kits for not much money these days. So before you take supplements, please get tested first. This way, you can tailor your amount of vitamin D to the levels you're at. Now, vitamin D may be an important player in the fight against Alzheimer's, especially for certain groups like women, as I mentioned, who get Alzheimer's at twice the rate of men. So please ensure that your levels are optimal, that you're getting enough through sunlight exposure, through food and supplements. Thanks again for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please think about giving it a thumbs up, share, subscribe for more health tips to help you in your new prime of life.